This is Math Camp 321 presenting a question like number 18 from section 7.1 of the book Geometry for Enjoyment and Challenge. So the first thing I notice here is that they give us a triangle with one of the sides extended giving us what's called an exterior angle. And they also give us a lot of angle measurements, some of which are numerical and others of which contain x's and y's. And it's because of these x's and y's I'm thinking that I might need to set up some sort of system of equations and it's going to be a pretty heavy algebra problem. But before I do anything else, I'm going to take these measurements and I'm going to label them in the diagram. Okay, so I've gone ahead and labeled all of these measurements in the diagram, and now I'm going to think of uh, a variety of ways to maybe relate all of these angles. And there are several things that I could do here, but because this is from section 7.1, and there are a few theorems uh, addressed in this section, I'm probably going to need to use those theorems. So one of the theorems says that all the angles of a triangle total 180. And with this theorem, I can say that 80 plus 6x plus y minus 9y equals 180. Now, of course, I can clean this up a little bit. And I can say 6x minus 8y equals 100. And then I can also notice that each of these terms is divisible by 2. And dividing everything through by 2 will make it even easier leaving me with 3x minus 4y equals 50. Okay, a second theorem addressed in this chapter is the exterior angle theorem. And what this theorem tells us is that the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of the two remote interior angles. More specifically in this diagram, it would say that 9x minus 7y is equal to 80 minus 9y. Cleaning this up to make it look like the same format as the other one in blue, I'm going to add 9y to both sides and say 9x plus 2y is equal to 80. Okay, now this is going to become an algebra problem. I'm going to stack these two equations on top of each other. And I've got to figure out how I'm going to eliminate one of the variables. And I think that for me, it's going to be easiest to eliminate the y's by first multiplying the bottom row by 2. Okay, now when I add downwards, the negative 4y and the 4y will cancel, and I'm left with 21x equals 210. Dividing both sides by 21, I get x equals 10. And now what I'll do is I'll back substitute this answer of 10 into one of my earlier equations. I'll pick one that's easy to work with, maybe this one here. And I'll say that 3 times 10, because that's what x is, minus 4y is equal to 50. 3 times 10 is 30, so 30 minus 4y is equal to 50. And then I'll subtract 30 from both sides, leaving me with negative 4y equals 20. And finally, dividing by negative 4, I get y equals negative 5. Okay, now if I focus on what they're actually asking me to do in this question, they're saying to find angle BCD. Well, angle BCD is this angle here, so I have to plug in the values of X and Y into that. So the measure of angle BCD is going to equal 9 times X, or 9 times 10, minus 7 times Y, which is negative 5. So this is going to be 90 plus 35, or 125. Okay, so this is a challenging problem. There was a lot of things going on. We had to label the diagram. We had to know several theorems, the triangle sum theorem, the exterior angle theorem. We need to know how to set up and solve a system of equations. And then finally, we had to make sure that we answered the question being asked. I hope this video has helped. Now you should turn to section 7-1 of your own book and do their version of number 18.